North Melbourne side of things, they play on Friday night. So, Sean Higgins, great of you to come in and join us. Thanks, boys. Cheers. How are you betting down at the Kangaroos? Yeah, it's been great. It's been a uh, really good pre-season, I think helps, especially when you go to a new club and I was able to have a, a strong pre-season and be out on the track and, and get to know the game plan and the boys. And um, yeah, so far so good in terms of um, the start of the season and, and fitting in and, and playing my role and, and what Scotty and the boys want me to do. Um, I think it's a tick so far, but um, yeah, enjoying it. I reckon, and I reckon you will agree with me, you had ran your race at your old club. Everyone was critical of you. It must have been a terrible time for you, I reckon. Everyone was critical. Where's Sean Higgins? What's he, where's his talent? What's he doing? And I see you play this year. You're fit. You didn't miss training. You're playing hard. You're kicking goals. You seem to be enjoying football and getting more out of yourself. Is that a fair comment? Yeah, I think so. I think definitely uh, that's how I felt, and that's probably why I, I made the move in the end. Um, but it's a tough game, and uh, I don't think by any means that... The last couple of years weren't going to plan and um, you know you have setbacks I had an avicular injury and missed the whole of 2013 uh, I then went on and uh, missed the the preseason the following year was limited with that came into 2014 probably a little bit underdone and yep. um, we've seen with teams and players you can't get through AFL in today's footy and uh, even five percent off. you look slow you're off. a meter behind everyone else Everyone goes, what's wrong with Higgins? Yeah, it's probably how, it's probably how I felt. But, um, no, nah, look, I think you summed it up well. I'm, I'm loving uh, the role now back down forward. I'm, I'm loving, a, you know, walk into a club feeling fresh. And, and this is nothing against the Bulldogs. It's mm. just where I was at with football. And, um, you know, I've been pretty clear in every interview I've done post the free agency that that was the reason why I made the move. Um, and, yeah, I'm glad that it's you're seeing the same. Yeah, it's worked. It's worked. How is it... A relief, is it exciting, to play good footy again? The footy that you well know you're capable of. Yeah, it's um, a little bit of both. They're definitely excitement. I'll, you know, I, I love footy now. I probably got it away a little bit from that last year. And I'm one that always has enjoyed footy um, you know, from the get-go and, and love watching other games and that as well. So when I got away from that, I knew something wasn't quite right. Um, and then all the players hold themselves to a high standard, sometimes at their detriment. Um, so to be able to play... A role for a side um, and, a, and hopefully a good one at that it's definitely a relief as well but um, I'd probably say more enjoyment at the moment Well done, there's the coach has he had to address with the players what happened over the weekend or has he not told the players and said it's a police investigation? That's exactly what he said today really? Yeah. so um, you know where we sit alongside you guys in knowing what it is and um, you know, I know as much as, as everyone else and I saw that clip just before coming on so that's where it sits with us Yeah it's interesting, it's I know you can't say too much about it, but has it changed his demeanour at training or anything? Or he just says, no, Ryan, I'm the same? No, no it hasn't. And it's, that's not surprising, though, either, um, after knowing him now for you know six or eight months. So um, it hasn't affected the players one bit. We've got a game to play, um, and I wouldn't have thought it would affect Scotty either. So you've got to three and three. This becomes a critical phase now for whatever the ambition is for North Melbourne, and it starts on Friday night. Can you... I suspect there was urgency around what was happening on Saturday. Is there a distinct urgency around it at the moment? Yeah, Saturday was a big game for us. Um, I think you were down there. It probably didn't go to plan the entire first half. And I think at half time we, we were like, OK, let's get things going. And um, yeah, we played some pretty good footy in that, that third quarter. Yeah. The intensity was up. We were hunting our opponents better than we have. And especially in that first quarter, we started using the ball well. Uh, Friday night now is just another game and um, as important as it is unfortunately the next week will be just as important as well so that's just a funny season that we're, we're in oh, shit, got <laughs> um, There's the draw I know people say they don't look at it but I think that's a little bit of a lie people do look at their draw and say right we've got that, that, that might have brackets of three weeks or brackets of four weeks you've got the bye week in what two Five weeks, minutes. three weeks, round 13 Six it weeks. is tough all right, but they're all tough. Yeah, that's right. I mean, so do you get scared, or not scared of the draw, but do you look ahead of the draw or not, be honest? Uh, I've lo oh, I clearly know the draw, and I've looked at it. Um, do, you, do you know the draw, who you're playing from now on? Yeah, I know their lead-up um, into the bye, and then, um, you know, a travel. These sort of things you, the footy club's well aware of. The, the breaks that we've got, you know, coming off a six-day six break now... Um, we're, we're all well aware of that. But like you said, every game's so tough that we just take one game and then roll into the next game. And that starts on, on the Monday. 
um, whether it's a, a win or a loss. And, mm. you know, hopefully we get the win Friday night. But if it's not, well, then we roll on to Fremantle as uh, well. Have you learned anything? Of the, there is a rivalry between North Melbourne and Essendon. They're, it's going back a long way. And they um, Bomber coached Essendon last year in that first game and blew them away. And mm. then the final last year where Essendon dominated the first half and... Big drill, he kicked a couple at the end there to, to get him over the line. Is, do they, what's Frank the Tank? Is there, <laughs> do they talk of a rivalry or is it just another game? Oh, look, we haven't made mention of it oh, no. uh, so far. But having said that, it's been a short week. We'll, we'll meet again tomorrow. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. You'll ask me that question possibly tomorrow night. But um, I've, I've been aware of the games and the history and um, especially the final as well. So, um, yeah, I'm sure Essendon haven't forgotten that and, and we haven't either. And just the last one. Um, how do you feel about the Bulldogs playing well and being exciting? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm as excited for them as anyone. And um, a few people asked me that even down the street, expecting me to give a different answer. I'm not sure why, but I've got great mates at that footy club um, that'll, you know, stand longer than, than footy itself. So it's, um, yeah, it's, it's in, enjoyable for me to watch them. And I know how tough it's been there as well the last few years. And... Um, like I said, that enjoyment that I was experiencing now, I, f I feel like they're um, experiencing that as well. And um, yeah, like I said, you know, I'm, I'm couldn't be happier for them. Good on you. Good on you, Sean. Nice of you to come by. Cheers. Thanks. And one of the major events at your new footy club, North Melbourne, is the the Blackwoods Grand Final Breakfast, and tickets have just gone on sale for that now. So that is one of the absolute markers of Grand Final Week and Grand Final Day. So. Northmere or nmfc.com.au for tickets there.